Welcome back to the UPS Forwarding Hub. Let's learn how to create a quote. First, make sure you're logged into the Hub. To get started from your dashboard, click the Quote tab. And here we go. This is the Get a Quote page, where it all starts. Choose your service or mode, in this case, AIR. Next, you'll need to enter your points of origin and destination. At this time, you'll also need to determine whether or not you have any existing pricing agreements connected to a linked account. If you do, choose it from the appropriate drop-down menu, whether that account is at the point of origin or the destination. If a third party is paying for everything, click the Enter a Location button for both the origin and destination fields. For this example, our linked origin account is in Alpharetta, Georgia. Next, enter the destination for your shipment, in this case, Los Angeles. A drop-down menu will help you quickly find the exact zip or postal code. If you'd like UPS to pick up your shipment, the Door Pickup Required button is already checked for you. Simply leave it checked. If you'd like to manage your time and cost by dropping off your shipment at the nearest UPS Service Center, just unclick the Door Pickup Required button and you'll automatically be provided with the nearest UPS Service Center drop-off location. Next, whether you have a linked account or not, you'll still need to determine the payment terms. You can choose prepaid, which is shipper paid, collect, which is consignee paid. You may choose a third party payer. If you choose third party for payment, you'll need a linked global freight forwarding account number. We've chosen prepaid, which means the shipper is paying the freight. Okay, we're getting close. We just need a bit more information about your cargo. If it's a general commodity, something that doesn't require any special handling, this will get you the quick rate. Does your shipment need extra attention because it's a dangerous good, like lithium-ion batteries? Is it perishable or does it require refrigeration? Or is it a personal item? For dangerous goods or other special handling, UPS will contact you for the quote. Next, enter the key dimensional characteristics of your cargo. Here we go. One piece, 200 pounds, 48 inches square. Okay, now click Submit. And wait a few seconds while we crunch the numbers. For North American air freight shipments, which this is, you can choose from second day, three day, or next day delivery options. We also offer multiple time and cost options for international air freight. You can view complete details of your quote line by line by clicking here. And here we go. If you like your quote, you can go ahead and request a booking on the spot. But if for any reason you don't want to make a decision right now, you can simply click Save a Quote and we'll save it to your dashboard for seven days. If you still haven't decided after seven days, we'll make it easy to requote with just the click of a button. Since we're good to go, we're going to choose the next day guaranteed service at the negotiated rate and click Request Booking. Bingo! You've just started your booking request. After you confirm your pickup and contact information, your shipment will be booked. Remember, if at any time you need help, you can click the Support button or the Help Center button on any screen. That's it! To learn how to book a shipment, check out tutorial number four, How to Book a Shipment.